Hey everybody, this is Dave Bigdale. Um, so I got a question for you guys on how to grade underwater footage. This is actually from a GoPro Hero 6. Um, everything's auto everything. So the contrast uh, is pretty good. The exposure is pretty good. Um, and I've already gone ahead and graded it. I'm going to take the grade off here in a second. Um, actually, let's go back to this frame. So what's happening here? Uh, maybe about right. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to find a frame that kind of shows us really well. So you've got the skin that's close on the red channel uh, looks pretty good and as you go farther and farther back like this person way back here um, obviously the red channel goes way way down. Um, I don't really like the way I've graded it that well. Here I'm going to turn it off. This is what it started with and this is what I've done. So I'm going to go ahead and try again and as I'm going along um, maybe you guys can help point out what I'm doing wrong or the, the philosophy I'm going about to try. First thing I usually do is I go to the offset and I have to make a major change. And I usually go kind of straight up like this until the skin, I'm looking mostly at the skin on the nearest part of the skin. Looks pretty good. I'll try pushing it. And as you can see here, uh, the bubbles, um, my thought is that this should be white, um, but it, it looks like it's going more uh, warmish or magenta maybe. Um, and obviously he's wearing black shorts. Uh, this part is black, but it looks a bit red as well. So I've kind of moved everything. Um, so that's kind of the first note, I guess you can say. And if I turn it on and off, you can see we've got rid of a lot of that maybe bluish green and it goes a little bit warmer. So the skin looks good, but uh, it still needs work. All right, so what we're going to do next is I'll create another node. And next up, I could work on making these uh, the blacks um, cleaner uh, in terms of maybe moving this away from red maybe. Uh, maybe like that. I'm just going to make a small move. And then these bubbles, I'm going to probably move them maybe away from magenta. Uh, no, yeah, like cords green. Clean that up just a little bit like that. So... That's before and after. Oh, let's do that on the node basis. Before, after, before, after. I think that helped. But I think what we're going to do here, uh, usually in my workflow for underwater footage, next thing I do is I go um, hue versus luminance. So I'm going to basically take all the shadows and basically pull them down. So now the shorts should start looking pretty clean. And kind of do the same thing with the, the water. Um, I'm just kind of fooling around here. I don't want to lose too much in the skin where the skin is. And in fact, I'm going to go a few frames forward because he's going to get closer here. And let me go back a few frames. And he's got, you can see his hair is a bit reddish. Um, so that's before, after, before, after. And it looks like what happens is when you when I start bringing up that saturation uh, on the, the skin, which is actually I'm gonna try next. I'm gonna go and do color, uh, presets, and I'm gonna red channel. So it's just a quick, easy way to pick all the red skin kind of thing. And you can see it's a little bit, maybe too much. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is just, again, on this one, probably, since it's where there's so much light right there, I'm gonna maybe pull this down, but then I'll pull up the shadows, saturation, I don't know, kind of like here maybe. So now when he swims by again, let's try this again. So he's swimming by. Uh, I'm basically just worried about getting him too red. So that's pretty much my workflow. Um, here, let's go back to where we see the black shorts. Yeah, there they are, black. And if I turn this on, um, I guess I could have brought the scopes up. The color scopes are not useless underwater. But you can see I've still got, uh, actually the red is down. Maybe I went too far in this particular one. Uh, let's bring this back up ever so slightly. 
Maybe it's a little bit better. And then the bubbles being white. Yeah, they're pretty close. I mean, obviously this big <laughs> bell curve should help out. Um, but the only thing I want to try next, here I'm going to make another node. Overall, like you see the saturation in the down here, maybe it's just a little bit too blue in the far distant. So if I go um, sat, luminance versus sat, um, maybe if I bring up everything or bring everything down, yeah, kind of like that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just kind of taking out some of that heavy blue in the distance. So that's pretty much it. And the reason for this clock, if you're wondering, it's I'm just doing a kind of a countdown video. Uh, this is just a kind of generic stuff before the video actually starts um, of the swim season. Uh, kind of a highlight reel. And we just went into the next clip. So am I kind of going about that the right way? Um, obviously underwater footage is kind of tough because you know the skin that you see out here is already desaturated way far away and obviously there's no color so it's like well do you concentrate and just on the people in front i think that's kind of what you have to do because as they go by if they're too red or too saturated that's just not going to look good all right you guys have any suggestions am i close is this kind of your workflow when you use underwater footage um yeah let me know all right thanks i'll talk to you guys later bye